block. <laughs> when the cheapest <laughs> item in your store is around $20,000 and your profits jump 12% year over year, you know you're doing something right. The U.S.'s largest auto dealer, AutoNation, just reported all-time record quarterly earnings per share up 17% from last year. So while this company is making money, why are other CEOs crying and whining about a poor economy on the front page of the Wall Street Journal? Well, let's find out from chairman and CEO of the nation's largest auto dealer, Mike Jackson. Great to have you. You're selling expensive things hand over fist. How many Mercedes? Let's just throw that one out. Did you sell in the quarter? Uh, new. We sold 7,000 new Mercedes and probably another 4,000 used. Average like price? Things. Average price? Average price in Mercedes, about $60,000 is our average price point. Okay. So when and we're here? selling, uh, I think, almost 70,000 new trucks, mm -hmm. uh, new and used in the quarter, and an average price around $30,000. When you hear people on the front page of the journal, which was Monday, saying, this is horrible. We're in an industrial and manufacturing recession. I have no doubt that there's some hurt. We have a stronger dollar. We have a slowdown in China. But you're doing just fine selling very expensive items. How are you doing that? Well, I think they have a point that the U.S. economy is just OK. It's not great. It's not booming. It's just OK. And within the U.S. economy, you have some segments that are very strong. There's a housing recovery underway. There's an auto recovery underway because we had depressions in both of those industries mm -hmm. and we have very low interest rates. So there, we're, we have a stronger bounce off the bottom. Now, however, within that, there's how companies are doing relative to each other. And uh, this is our 20th straight quarter of double digit growth. We're building a brand that stands for something. Uh, and uh, we're building our digital presence. Um, we are launching innovative uh, industry breaking initiatives like uh, not selling any vehicle without completing recalls. So you can stand out even in a segment that's doing somewhat better when you do, than the rest of the when economy. When you do business correctly and well and in a smarter way than the other guy, then you win. <laughs> uh, let me ask you about the debt ceiling, because this is supposedly happening November 3rd. We do have a budget that may be pushed through, but you as a CEO, what worries you most? Are you very concerned about hitting the debt ceiling or a congressional snafu, things like that? Well, I think uh, you have to talk about monetary policy and physical, uh, fiscal policy. On the monetary side, I, I think for some time uh, it's been appropriate to begin to raise rates. The U.S. economy is out of a crisis, and zero percent is a crisis so rate. So you'd be fine with the December rate tightening? I would have raised it in September, uh, and I would certainly be fine uh, in December. Now, very small, 25 basis points, go very gradual, not every meeting. But uh, I think it's time to say to the American people, uh, we're out of a crisis, and these extreme crisis rates... Uh, are coming to a to an end now on the fiscal side uh, compared to where we've been I'm happy that we just are not shutting down the government every year and don't have these masses crises that just dis disorients everyone are we addressing our structural fiscal pro problems absolutely not okay. that's being left to the next administration that can's been kicked down the road so many times so far right, right. it's it's you can make the case it's recklessly irresponsible i need this guy running the show because yeah. auto nation is up 10 percent while the s p is up four percent great numbers today here's the stock up another two and a third percent mike it's wonderful to have it's always great to see you thank you mike jackson auto nation ceo doing